Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for joining me. So uh, this is my creative design team project for Tracy Fox Creative for what month are we in? July. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to just do, um, rather than do a full journal this month, I'm going to just do a mixed media tag, but an oversized tag, a big one. So this is um, Tim Holtz, etc. tags. This is small. And just to put it size in perspective, this is sort of more of a standard size. And this one is the number eight. So this is small <laughs> and number eight. I know it should be maybe the other way around. I don't know, but it's a pretty good size tag. It's, um, what is that? About four and a half inches wide by about hmm, six, seven, eight, eight inches tall. So it's a pretty good size. So what I did is I printed out a full sheet. Um, I had two of them. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. So I printed out, you know, like uh, two of the full pages from Tracy's kit. It's just adorable. It's a watercolor-esque um, looking imagery and it's all gorgeous. And so I chose this one, something like that. I've trimmed some off, but it was something like that and printed it to bleed so that I got as much height as I could. This one was not printed to bleed, so you can see it's got some edge. Um, positioned it where I wanted it, and I used Fabri-Tex uh, to glue it down, and then I used a scraper to get it nice and smooth and flat. So this is glued now, and the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand around the edges. Now, there's a couple reasons why I do this. One, and I've started it, you can see up here at the top. Can you, can you, can you, can you? Maybe. Um, what that does is it helps to, um, it helps to pull the paper on top with the board on the bottom and pull it into one. Um, so you know, when I can feel this, I can't feel the edge of the paper. It's more like sort of, <laughs> merging the two together, I guess. Anyway, I've done just the top and I got the whole cut here. And I just did that with, you know, poking after I glued it on, poking through and just using my X-Acto knife to just run around that edge and then smooth it out just a little. So now what I'm gonna do is, are the edges. And you can kind of see here, there's just a tiny little bit in some cases here of this edge on the sides and the bottom. And so by sanding, I'm gonna remove that, but then I'm also going to pull it together. And so I'm gonna start by going with sort of a downward motion like this. And there's a bunch of, you know, everybody does things a little differently. And I do want a little bit of that edge to come off as well. Um, I'll be inking this. And that allows the, the ink to, to get a good, you know, get a nice heavy coverage on the ink. Gives it a little bit of a vintage feel. This is best um, done over a trash can because <laughs> you get piece bits and pieces. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sanding disc. This is gonna run up and sit down the side just to smooth that out a little bit more. And then come in here again. And now I'm gonna decide, you know, do I wanna get some extra off? If I do, I may focus a little bit of attention on one spot over another. That's got a little nick in it. And I'm just gonna keep doing that on each side until I'm happy with it. If you get too aggressive, you'll take too much off, and I have certainly done that before, and I usually just sort of go with the flow if that happens. But you can see now, this is smooth. This feels like all one surface as opposed to a piece of paper on top of a piece of wood. So it just helps to blend that in together. And then I'm just gonna keep going. So my idea is that this is kind of dreamlike and I wanna kind of get a dreamlike look. Oh, and I made a red balloon. So this story is about, let's see, this is the Great Balloon Adventure, I think is the name of the kit. I'll put a link in the description box below to that kit, to Tracy's shop. But 
what I did is I had this mold. These are little balloons. This is a little silicone mold. I ended up making three. I I with I tried four, but I messed one of them up. So I ended up making three and playing with them. And what I did is once I put clay in the mold and pulled it out, then I bent it over and just um, I used a round tool, kind of like a burnishing tool, to get a divot in there to get that dimension on the. There you can see it. The dimension on the balloon. So I played with three of them and messed a couple of them up a little bit and ended up with this one. After I got, after the clay completely dried, I used red and I used, this is just Michael's, I think, Artist Loft is Michael's brand or, yeah, I think it's Michael's brand, uh, Crimson Red is the color. I don't have a whole lot of reds, and so that was one of the only ones I had. Then I just painted it red. And then over here on the little highlights that are part of the mold, after I got one coat of red on, I put some white gesso right in those little spots, let that dry nicely, and then put another coat of red on so it has a little bit of highlight without being stark white. Then once that had completely dried, I inked the side just a little. You can see it's a tiny bit darker on the sides with um, scorched timber. And then I spray painted this with a satin sealant. So it's not glossy, but it is showing up pretty good here. It's, a, it's got a sheen to it. And I really wanted that balloon to kind of pop out here. So it'll go on here, I think, you know, maybe, I don't know where exactly. And then I just wrapped some string and the string I had was three ply and all three plies were too thick. So I just separated one of the plies like this, just grabbed hold and kind of pulled it apart. If I can do it like this. So I ended up with just one ply. Wrap that around, tied it, and now I have a balloon. Okay, that's the very last thing that's gonna go on here though. So before I get to the balloon, the first thing I want to do, let's see, the first thing I want to do actually, um, let me see a little spot right there. There we go. The very first thing I want to do is get some ink around these edges. Now I would normally use distress ink, but I also want to seal this and I'm going to seal this board with a uh, liquid matte gel medium. And that's a water-based medium and it will cause the distress ink to run. And so rather than do that, I'm just going to use, um, what am I gonna use? This is Versafine Vintage Sepia. That'll be perfect. So I think this will work. I'm just gonna use my brush. I'm just gonna go around and get some color here on this edge. That's pretty good. So it gives it sort of that, yeah, I got a little heavy on the ink up there, but that's all right. I like heavy ink. And that'll help that balloon pop out nicely too. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to, let's get all this out of my way. <laughs> Now what I want to do is I want to put some, um, I'm going to do some embossing in the background. Use my, this one is the Distress Embossing Ink. This is the one that I think that's almost dried out. But I'm going to just push that through. But I want to avoid the two children. So I want to get it around them. I don't know if that's going through or not. Let's see. Let me try this one. I think this one might work better. Yeah, it's juicier. So I'm just gonna punch this through, but not get them. All right, I think we got it. And it does, let's see if I can get that to turn. There you go. There you go. You can kind of see some of the plants coming through, especially down there at the bottom. I think you can definitely see them better up at the top. There you 
you know. So it's a very subtle little look, um, and I do I do like that. Okay, now what I want to do um, is I want to go in, and I said I was going to seal this, and I actually did that, should have sealed it first, so I missed a step, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be sealed. Now I think I'm going to go in with um, Glossy Accents. This is from Ranger, and I'm going to put a little bit of Glossy Accents, I think, on the uh, butterflies. Okay, now I'm going to do is add a little bit of wax. So I've got patina and rust, and so I just want to, I just want little hints of this. Let's see if I can get this open. Just little hints um, around the edge, I think. So perhaps a little here. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little bit of rust. Same thing in just a couple spots. And this may not show up. There we go. Now I have to decide where I want my balloon. I'll cut the string off later, um, but I kind of I'm going to let the string run free. Um, I don't know if I want it off over here. I don't want it to kind of be in the way of of the kids. Um, I kind of like it over here. Maybe the string kind of goes down between the two of them. That might not be a bad idea. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna attach the balloon with matte gel medium. And this is, I use Liquitex matte gel medium just because that is, um, I just have had good success with it. I'm just gonna pick this up and add some glue all the way around this edge. And when I put this down, it will, um, it will squeeze out, but I will Um, I'll clean that up. Let's see. Okay. I don't remember where I had it now. Okay. I think I had it about right here. Yep. No, let's come down a little further. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna push this down. And while I have it pushed down, those of you who have followed me for a while have seen me do this a hundred times. While I have this pushed down, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm just gonna run this around the edge. I think that does it. Yep, that's good, okay. All right, let's let this dry and then we'll come back and decide how to finish it off. Okay, I'm back and I have a mess. <laughs> and I found, um, I found these little dried flower thingies and I thought it might look cute to add a couple of those here and there to this to give this more dimension because they're very similar um, and the color works, so I think I'm gonna use art glitter glue and I'm going to just glue those on. Let's see, does it look better that way? I don't know what's the back and what's the front, probably doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put some glue on these. 
Okay. Do we want any more? Or is that enough? If you can see the effect that gives. There you go. There you go. You can kind of see. I think I need something right, kind of right in here. So let's do another. Let's do another one here. Let's do one here. A couple of them, maybe. Okay. Um, I think that's enough. So now I'm going to very carefully snip these off. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just very loosely tack part of this string, maybe just in a couple spots. You can tack it here, like that. Tack it down. Um, same, I'm going to use some art glitter glue. Draw a line and then just push the string onto the line. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So there's the balloon. You can see the dimension. You can see, there you go. You can see the string, you can see the flowers, you can see the shine of the gloss, just the slight little bit through that stencil, a little more through the stencil down here, there's a big leaf down here, um, then the glossy accents on some of the flowers, and I just dabbed it on, I didn't, you know, I wasn't trying to be perfect with it. Okay, now, <laughs> now, I want to put, um, I think I want to put a tiny, tiny bit of stamping on this. And I've got this stamp here that I think will be really cute. And it's basically, uh, this is one of Seth After stamps, and it's basically just um, a whole bunch of letters. And so I, I'm thinking, you know, just in a couple spots. Um, so I'm going to get the VersaFine back out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the ink on the stamp. I've got a mess here. Let's put this back on the glue. I'm going to get ink on the stamp and stamp it off and then stamp the card so that um, it's lighter like that. Now I'm going to stamp here go and I'm gonna stamp here and just put a few little light stamps around kind of around the edge a little bit I think I put a little bit right here okay so I just completely finished the tag and thought I was recording and I wasn't <laughs> We all have done that before, haven't we? Um, okay, so it's done. So I'll just kind of show you. This is just sorry up here at the top with a little bit of that same string that's on the balloon up here. Um, I've got the sides painted with, I just used black gesso and went all the way around. Then as I was painting it, I went in further here on the back, then added uh, just a piece of craft card stock. This is from the Tim Holtz line. I think it's neutrals. It's kind of a greenish neutral. Works um, good enough with the front. Um, and I'm not sure where I stopped recording, so I'll go ahead and show you. I've got I've got black dust all over my fingers, so pardon me. Got little stamping. This is tiny little letters from um, that's from a Seth After stamp that I just got. I've got some stamping kind of going around up through here. So this is a true mixed media piece. I will walk through from the base. We start with paper. Then on top of the paper, um, there's been some sanding and there's some ink around the edge. Um, just standard, um, let's see, I think I used VersaFine, I used a sepia but a standard ink around the edge. And then there is some embossing. 
um, through a stencil first and then with clear embossing powder. Then we've got glossy accents um, painted onto the fronts of the flowers, some of the flowers and the butterflies. Then we have the dried flowers added down here to the bottom, the dried flowers to give that more of a field look. The balloon is made from clay and then there's acrylic paint on top of that, a little bit of inking around the edge and then the string is tied on to, to that. And then we have stamping in here. These are little letters, tiny little letters. that are just stamped kind of throughout here, throughout the edges of the top part, kind of going down. And yeah, that's done. Sorry silks, we have fabric, we have acrylic paint, we have glossy accents, we have stencils, we have embossing powder, we have stamping, ink, um, paint, I said that, black gesso, more cardstock, more ink, you know, so it's, it is, um, lots of different media used on here, and so, I hope you like it, I think it's really cute, I think it turned out adorable, and, um, that is my design team project for Tracy Fox Creative, who is Love Junk Journals on Etsy, her, her digitals are also now available on her website, and that's the link I will put down below. And that's it. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll be back. Bye-bye.